Hey you guys, I'm Marta Geek. In this video, have a hands-on look of the Blue R1 HD smartphone, which is only $60 on Amazon. The reason, of course, that it costs $16 is because Amazon decided to put like ads on your lock screen, and that way they can go, you know, they could make it the phone a little bit cheaper, just the same way they do with their tablets. Um, there's two versions. This is the $16 version, which is two gigabytes of RAM, eight gigabytes of internal, um, 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Uh, the cheaper one, it's $49.99. The only difference is that it's one gigabyte of RAM and only eight gigabytes of storage. But keep in mind, both smartphones have a micro SD slot where you could put up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. But for $10 more, I really, really recommend getting double the storage and double the RAM. It is going to be way worth it. Uh, first of all, let's go and take it out of the box. Um, I did open the, the smartphone already, turn it on, and install one application that I wanted to confirm you guys that you can actually do on this smartphone, and I'll show you guys in a second. Um, right here, of course, only well, the only thing you get is uh, the micro USB cable, of course, which is very good quality, and this, of course, to charge it, and just a couple instruction manuals there. But let's go ahead and take this out. And right here, right away, let's take this out right here. Let's put this to the side. And there you have it. This is a very nice looking smartphone. Uh, first thing that you're going to realize when you get this smartphone in your hand that it does not feel like a $60 phone at all. Um, this surrounding of the smartphone all this this is all metal and it feels very nice to the touching when you're touching it feels very very nice very nice constructed um here in the back it's actually plastic and it can be very fingerprint magnet yesterday i turned it on i used it for a little bit so i can you know put it in my account and all that and it was full of fingerprints um it only has one speaker and this speaker is right here in the rear it has the 8 megapixel camera here in the in the back with uh, of course autofocus hdr records at 1080p it does not record 4k uh here it has a led flash and over here what's cool about this phone is that it also has a front facing flash as well it has a 5 megapixel camera there the only thing that you have here is the blue logo which looks pretty cool right there in the bottom um it does not have any physical button whatsoever um here in the side you have the volume button and you have the power button it's cool that you have it right there look at that so if you have small hands you're not gonna have any problems managing this phone at all so here in the top of course you got a, a headphone jack right there you see there very cool um, on this side you have anything and in the bottom like you see there instead of being right in the center in the bottom right here, you have the micro uh, USB port so you can charge your phone and you have the little microphone. Um, the other thing about this smartphone is that it, it is a quad core phone. It is a MediaTek, it has a MediaTek CPU, uh, 1.3 gigahertz. Um, here, of course, you got dual slot SIMs. So you could put, actually have two SIM cards on this phone at the same time. And this is where you're going to put your micro SD card up to 64 gigabytes of storage. Uh, the battery of this phone is a 2500 milliamp per hour battery. They promise around 15 hours of battery life. It is not removable. And uh, I know for some people it might be a bummer. I think it's okay. You know, batteries these days, they've been performing pretty good for me on every phone that I've used before. So I don't have a problem with that. Let's go ahead and turn this on so you guys can see the booting screen. You just press it, hold it for a couple seconds there and see it boot it up. Um, for those asking, yes, this is a 4G LTE smartphone. Um, it is compatible with all GSM carriers. So let's go ahead and wait for this to load up. There you go. Look at that. Very nice loading screen there. Of course, when you first install, um, open this up, it's going to start asking you for the, all the normal information that we, you would expect when you open up a new smartphone. Um, it would actually tell you to enter your account, your Gmail account, and all that. The only big difference is that it's going to actually tell you to enter your Amazon account. 
Um, and all you do is just enter your Amazon account that you're using right now. And that's it. Um, and it's beneficial, especially if you have an Amazon account on that way, uh, you're going to have all the Amazon apps already on the phone. And I can see here right away, we're starting to see all the ads that are in the uh, here on the the lock screen um let's go ahead and connect to my wi-fi because i think i'm not connected to my wi-fi yep let's go ahead and connect there here you could go ahead and sue you can press and hold let's go ahead look at that let's go ahead and connect to my internet it's gonna feel very familiar if you ever had a smart a android smartphone before um, one thing that a lot of people most likely would have been worried about is that it would have been having the Fire uh, TV or the Fire tablet uh, UI, and it doesn't. That's one thing that I actually thought it was going to have, and it doesn't. It really has basically a launcher that is just like stock um, Android, vanilla Android. It is, like you see here, you have all these toggles right here. Uh, you have the flashlight. Look at that. The flashlight pre works pretty good. Uh, you got rotate. You got do not disturb, SIM card. Um, here you can switch SIM cards. So if you're using two SIM cards, you can actually sw switch SIM cards here. You got Bluetooth. You got cast. Uh, you got hotspot. So if you click right there, you can actually um, use your phone as a hotspot. Here you got audio profile. You got general silent meeting and outdoor. There you go. Uh, you're going to have this folder right here, which is all you can see all your Google apps. They already come installed right there. Um, here you got the Play Store. Here you're going to have a folder with Amazon apps. You got the Amazon Music, Amazon Photos, Audible, Alexa, Prime Nine, uh, uh, Amazon Prime Drive, IMDb, and Goodreads. Here you got the Amazon Store. So once you log into your account and you use your Amazon account on this phone, um, it's going to be cool because everything, if you're using Amazon Prime, right, you're going to have perfect access to everything. So you have your Amazon Prime there. You got your Amazon videos here. So like you see there, uh, for those that don't know, um, you don't have to get the $99 Prime membership a year to uh, enjoy Amazon video. Uh, they can now, you can now get it monthly for $9.99. And it's pretty damn cool because you can actually download your movies to your smartphone as well. That way you can watch it with, with if you don't have Wi-Fi. Um, here is going to show you guys um, storage. I want to show you guys here storage. Um, how much you get when you turn it on uh, okay no this is memory storage right here uh, right now of course this is the 16 gigabyte uh, version um, I have available 10.22 gigabytes and the service actually take the system UI actually takes around uh, 4.81 so you're basically going to have around 11 gigabytes for you to use out of the box. Um, of course, I already took a couple pictures. I already added just one app that I wanted to show you guys right away. Um, here's the dialer. This is how it looks. It comes with the basically the Google dialer. And um, of course, you got the messaging app from Google. You got this browser was right there. I did not replace it at all. So it comes with Chrome right there. And here's the camera. Look at that. That's the camera right there. And if we see right here, go ahead and turn, turn the torch on. Look at that. So you have a front facing flash that it works as a torch. Or you could go ahead and put it auto. Or you could go ahead and keep it on. Or you could just turn it off to make sure it doesn't come out. And here are the settings. Like you see there, these are the settings for front facing camera. And if you switch to the rear facing camera, the uh these are the settings you got panorama you got night mode professional profession is pretty cool because it makes it like a uh, menu so you got like menu functions right there pretty cool hdr you got hdr as well you got dual view which uh dual view for those that never seen it before you have this view right here and this view right here this one is taking a picture from the front camera and this over here is taking a picture from the rear camera and you can also change this as well uh, you got normal, you got face beauty, and you got sports. And of course, if you tap right there, uh, you got the um, quality, video quality up to 8, 1080p. You got 720p and 480p. 
I'm going to leave it at 1080p. And of course, here you got 8 megapixel. And if you switch to 16, 6 megapixel, you get the widescreen uh, format for the pictures. And 8 megapixel right there, 4 by 3. And everything else, you know, it's pretty just self explanatory. You got touch shutter, small shot, shutter sound, picture guide, self timer, GPS, um, sh zero shutter delay and anti-flicker you could change it to 50 hertz or auto and basically that's it here you take images uh images here you take video over here you could go ahead to your to your pictures and you see there i was taking pictures at night and they look pretty decent but later on i'm going to show you guys um how it actually looks um on the video i'm going to show you guys the ads that you get right here look at that look at that so these are basically the ads that you get and you can actually interact with them so like this if you see this right here you could tap right there boom it's gonna take you to that ad that's what it actually does and for some people this might be annoying for others it might not be a big deal uh, i really it really doesn't bother me because i like on seeing a lot of pictures on my lock screen and i like I actually like seeing special offers too i like to buy a lot of stuff to uh, on amazon so for me it's not a big deal um, especially for the price that you're paying but if you do want to uh, eliminate this, um, yes, you can install a third-party lock screen. Uh, the one that I'm going to be testing here, let me see here. No, you got another one there. Uh, the one that I'm going to be testing here is the uh, next. Let's go ahead, put, go ahead here. Next. There you go. This is the next launcher from Microsoft. I'm going to go ahead and enable it and uh, let's go ahead back here let's go ahead here and let's go ahead here and there it is look at that so like you see here with this launcher you can actually customize it you have the toggles in the bottom um you have um here right here you can activate the torch you got here power saving mode you can turn it on you got brightness here as well um here you can pick your shortcuts uh there and of course you have have more access to a lot of things here as well and so just wanted to show you guys that you can yes you can actually use a third party launcher this right here that i'm using there is the next launcher from microsoft but you can actually use any launcher like you see there and of course here if i want to put another wallpaper i can actually do that as well uh, display set wallpaper Look at that. I could put another wallpaper there if I want. There you go. Boom. And set. And go ahead. Turn it off. You can also choose photos from your gallery as well. Look at that. Just like that. Just like that. You could go ahead and down and unlock the phone as well. Uh, if you press and hold, here you have access to, of course, widgets and wallpapers. Very beautiful looking screen. Of course, this screen is a five inch screen, 1280 by 720, 294 uh, pixel per inch. Of course, it only comes in black. And of course, it comes with Android 6.0. Go ahead here. And you got here Android 6.0, which is Marshmallow. Look at that. Of course. And uh, other than that, let me see, I was going to turn that off. Other than that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install some more apps and I'm going to go ahead and turn it off right here. Let's go in uh, so you guys can see the reboot. I see there. Very cool. So um, stay tuned for the second half of the video. Okay, so here we are back again with the blue R1 HD smartphone. Let's go ahead and clear everything here in the background. That way we could go ahead and run Geekbench 3. Uh, of course, keep in mind, this is a low-budget smartphone. Even though it's a quad-core 1.3 gigahertz, you're always going to get low scores like 524, 1549, which is not bad for this phone. But of course, when you compare it to a high-end phone like a Galaxy Note 5, the scores are going to be drastically lower. Uh, here, we're playing some video games now. Uh, like you see on the screen, looks pretty damn good I'm rendering these cutscenes. The colors look really good. I don't have any problem whatsoever when it comes to you know playing video games on this smartphone. Uh, of course, you wouldn't expect to play high-end um, game 
games that like um, you still can play like modern combat and all those phones but remember always keep it in low resolution that way the phone uh, runs the whole game a little bit more better and less lagginess and all that but you see here if you're one of those that play just casual games for smartphones like this right here like minecraft and all those type of games you're not gonna have any problems whatsoever running those games so right here i'm gonna go ahead and leave you with uh, some gameplay that i recorded here and we'll be back Okay, so here are a couple photos that I took with this smartphone. Uh, like I said before, this is an 8 megapixel rear-facing camera. Front camera is a 5 megapixel. Um, you can lower it down to 6 megapixel if you want, like the widescreen version of the photos. But you see there, they look pretty decent considering that this is a very, very, very budget phone. The video, this video is at 1080p. The audio sounds okay. It doesn't sound amazing. It sounds okay. It does not have optical image stabilization. But... You know still does the job of taking video and you know if you're steady and there's a lot of light you will get good videos coming out from this smartphone and that's it guys for this video like you see here very cool phone that you're getting for just $59.99 um, even though it has ads on the lock screen honestly when you get this phone in your hand you're really not going to regret it, getting this phone uh, it feels very good construction wise feels very very solid like I said it has metal surrounding around it so when you get it in your hand it actually going to feel like a high end phone of course the back is removable you have access to the uh, micro sd card slot which is awesome and the screen looks great at uh, 720p so i don't think you're gonna be regretting getting a smartphone this damn cheap so honestly guys if you ask me if it's worth buying or not honestly if you're looking for a cheap phone that you don't have to, you don't have to spend so much money on it and you don't need you don't want to get into a contract this is a good phone to get and i recommend to get it so guys i'm gonna leave a link for this smartphone in my descriptions that way if you're interested in it you can read a little bit more about it and if you want to order it from there you could go ahead and hit the link in the bottom and order it from there thanks for watching the video guys if you have any more questions about this smartphone let me know Till next time, guys.